This is the important thing that has to happen to us to become the spirit that Christ has told us, that we have to become the spirit, that we are to be born again. It is again certifying ourselves that we are born again. You do not become. Let us accept one thing. We are not going to live with myths and dishonesty. If we are going to be honest with us, with ourselves, it is beneficial to us. It is benevolent for us to be honest with ourselves and to realize that by giving ourselves certificates, we do not become anything. It's only a mental projection. Mm -hmm. To reach that absolute stage, this Kundalini has to rise. There's no other way out. And this is what is the Holy Ghost within us. This is the Holy Ghost. It's the reflection of the Holy Ghost, and Holy Ghost is the energy of God, which is love, which is His desire. His desire is the Holy Ghost, and is reflected within us as the Kundalini. So the desire of God is that you should become the citizen of his kingdom, that you should enter into his kingdom and enjoy all the fruits of his blessings, understandingly, knowingly, on your central nervous system. This is his pure desire. And if that pure desire within us rises, then we see that all other desires were useless. And they are not pure either. Because we have some desires, say, for example, we want to have a car, all right, have a car. They want to have a house, have a house. We're never satisfied. In general, it is said that wants are not satiable. Because they are not wants, they are artificial wants. The real want, the real desire is this one. This energy of pure desire that says you have to unite. Unite with the divine with the all-pervading power of God. That is our pure desire. And unless and until that desire is completed, you may do any kind of things, you may go to all kinds of things, try anything, you can never achieve it. Now, this is a living process, because God is a living being. He is not empty words. He is not just a, something like a dead book. He is not. He is a living God. He is a living energy, and this is a living process. So it has to be spontaneous. It has to be spontaneous if it is living. For example, there's a seed, and you want to sprout it. Can you order it? Can you mentally say, all right, it has now sprouted? Can you say that, all right, I'll read these mantras to you, or Bible to you, or do this? Will it rise? No, it won't. It's a living process. You have to place it in the Mother Earth. Spontaneously it will rise. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to imagine anything. It will rise. And that's what it is, that this Kundalini has to be awakened. In the same manner, in the living process. 